Well, good morning, it's 3.45 a.m. and I'm off on another adventure up to Winton Wetlands to study the yellow-footed antichinus uh, to continue the antichinus project. Now I've got three and a bit hours of driving to do, so I'll catch you at the wetlands. Well, I made it safely to Winton Wetlands. The sun is just coming up nicely now. There's been no activity just at the minute. I've had a good long chat with a new friend, and that's Brian. Uh, he's a friend of Wade, another photographer that has a YouTube channel. Cockatoos are always noisy up here. I haven't seen any sign of any Antichinus just yet, yellow for the Antichinus. Well, this particular spot is where I've been studying females uh, having a communal nest and then get, going off and having their own nest and raising their young. Uh, I was just sort of hoping to reconnect with them again. Hopefully they stayed up here in this particular area. There's three trees over there that likely they could be having a communal nest. And also the log just in front of me here is where they had a communal nest uh, when I first turned up to study them. So it's just a matter of sitting back, watching out for any signs of them. Ah, there you go, there's one there coming down that tree, so I need to shut up. But yeah, awesome to be back here, soak up the atmosphere. Watch, study, see whether this one is living in this tree. That'd be a new nesting site if that's the case. But uh, yeah, time for me to shut up and uh, get on with uh, concentrating and studying. Oh, and that's another one coming out. So it could be a communal nesting site. Right. I've shifted, I've come on another little adventure just around the corner. It's a three kilometer walk to where I am now on the peninsula that I can see from my uh, normal location where I camp. So it's just come around to the next point uh, and I've had a little bit of fun with some raptors and other birds around and it's, uh, but the reason I came up here for was just to check and see whether this would be a great location for studying the yellow-footed antichinus as well. Maybe this might be better, but I don't think it's going to work for me. I'm going to wander around for another hour and just see whether I can uh, find any evidence of, of them being here. There probably are. It is a fantastic place to come and photograph birds, that is for sure. There's just so many around the place. I think, yeah, if you come here, first light, got yourself sat down on a nice log. There's plenty of places to sit around here that are slightly open, but you wouldn't be seen that much. And I just think the bird life early morning here would be perfect. It'd just be, yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, I'm shutting up now. Uh, I'm going to just, uh, yeah, chill out and have a bit of fun just taking photographs of birds. Well, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. It is stinking hot, but I knew it'd be this way before I even come up here. I've just been waiting for it to be a little bit cooler than it has been. 
because we're in, you know, in the fire season, it's summer. You've got to expect it when you come up into these central district areas that it's going to be a little bit on the torturous side. But I've got a little bit of a breeze every now and then that's helped me out. I've set up a tarp at the back of my car, just <laughs> lifted the lid up, the back tailgate, tied it onto that. And, you know, it's, it's okay. And now I'm just waiting it out until the temperature drops a little bit and I can get back up to the top of the hill to study the yellow-footed antichinus again. Uh, I, I want to see if I can pick out the individual, see if they've got any markings on them or something that will help me to identify them later on when we come to breeding season. And I'd like to find some of the other females that I was uh, filming as well, so Hayley and uh, Mrs Gray, I'd really like to identify them in amongst this mob that are up there. That'd be great to be able to continue to follow their lives. Uh, but yeah, just it's great. We've confirmed that things are, are still okay up there and I can come back when it's cooler, in the cooler months, uh, to follow them. But yeah, just waiting it out. Get through the rest of this, the, the worst heat of the day. And then, uh, yeah, head back up there. Now, tomorrow, I've got a big day. I'm going to daybreak, going back up the top of the hill, sit down and watch them again. And then there's something happening after that. But I'll leave it until it happens. This yellow-footed antichinus female is one that I followed last year. Her name is Haley, and I can identify her by the nicks out of her right ear. So I followed her right through the seasons from having a communal nesting site only four metres away and then watching her build her own nest just to the left of the camera. There's another tree that she was building a nest there uh, then she had her young she left in there and then when I came back a few months later she would shifted them to another nesting site which is the one that she's in now this is at the base of the tree and she had the nesting site up the top of the tree so it was amazing to be able to watch her bring up her young and then her young coming out of the nest now it looks like I get to follow her for another year doing the same things. So I've got another one coming out to my right. So it looks like all the action's on. This one is a juvenile, so I'll flip the camera over. What an interesting afternoon. Finally come across Hayley and it's great that she's around and I can follow her again. But that juvenile that come up to her and nosed her and they seem to really like each other. That That's really interesting. Is that one of her joeys? Ah, <laughs> that is the question. We will never know. But possibly is. Alright, that's all I've got for you tonight. Uh, sun's going down now. I might head back and uh, go and have a wash. I will not be making a fire tonight. It is far too windy for that. You know, if you've got a strong breeze like this, a little spark can start a grass fire.
this is the uh, mystery event canoeing Got my uh, friend here Helen has invited me out so <laughs> it's gonna be awesome I haven't brought uh, the R5C too expensive to be doing this sort of thing with to just cruise around and see what's in these uh, lakes it's just going to be an awesome day all right I'm gonna keep paddling I'm about to hit a tree oh Thank you very much, Helen. That's that was fine, awesome. <laughs> yeah, good. It's been a beautiful day, but it's time to go back and have some lunch and then head up the hill to see the yellow footed antichinus. I'm back from my canoeing trip. That was awesome. Thank you very much, Helen. Yeah, I'm back to get tortured. Yesterday I was getting a little bit of a breeze that was quite cool every now and then, but today. It's a hot one, it's a hot breeze. It ain't helping at all being out in this desert. Under my nice little tarp there at the back of the car. <laughs> at least that is something. I had an awesome time this morning. I wanted to try and find where the males are nesting, so where their communal nesting site is. Didn't get that, but instead I found five females. One juvenile female and the rest were adults roughly around the age of three years of age and i managed to get some photographs of them they were pretty wary of me and skittish and getting a photograph was a little hard but hopefully i can see whether there's any identifying marks on them so that i can get to know them uh, individually so sometimes you know like Haley, you get nicks out of the ears so you can identify them by that Otherwise, it's variations in the colour of their fur can help as well. Uh, and their personalities can stand out on some quite strongly. Uh, but there was a, a little youngster there that was uh, quite happy to let me take some photographs of her. She's just running around the place and every now and then stopping, looking at me, saying, Take a shot, take a shot, quick. So that was good fun. So uh, this afternoon, just got to get through the heat of the day again. Maybe have a snooze, watch some YouTube videos. Then later on, as you know, get to five o'clock, I'll start heading up the hill, go back to those females and check them out. The uh, event that may or may not happen tomorrow. I still haven't got a phone call yet from Brian. I'm still waiting on him to get the uh, green light. Hopefully that happens and we can go on another special adventure <laughs> so fingers crossed that happens but otherwise i'll just at the crack of dawn go home beat all the traffic but yeah fingers crossed the event does go ahead and i'll spend two maybe three hours uh, having a bit of fun that's all i've got for you for now and I'll catch you a bit later on when the temperature starts to drop. Head back up the hill there. And yeah, it's all about having a bit of fun this afternoon. Not won't be work like I have been doing, you know, really um, focusing on making sure I get good results. I'll just be wandering around taking photographs more than anything, I think, tonight. I've spent an hour and a half down here at the bottom of the hill looking for the yellow-footed antichinus. 
There's a couple of juveniles been mucking around, but they were eluding me as far as getting some photographs of them. They're moving around very quickly and not stopping at all, not giving me any opportunities. Now, while I was waiting for them to come out, I was flicking through some of the photographs that I took this morning. And I knew one of the females that I saw running across this particular log that the camera is on, she looked like she could be quite old. And she definitely is. She's four at the very least years of age. I'm, I'm really guessing that she's about five because both her ears are worn down by ear mites nipping away at them. I'm going to be able to identify her really easy the next time I come up, if I can see her again. Her body's becoming quite bulky looking and that's always a huge sign that they're over four years old. Anyway, uh, just a bit of a drop at the minute with them. The ones I was following have disappeared. I haven't seen any of these older females that were out this morning at all but we'll just keep persevering and see how we go got a strong breeze again there'll be no fire for me tonight again there's a few people have pulled up into the campsite and uh, right near me so it might be a noisy night although then again i might uh, start talking to them and get to know them we'll see what happens but anyway that's all i'm going to so for tonight, I'll uh, catch you in the morning. Good morning, I'm at a new location. I've been here for quite some hours. I've been waiting for two other photographers to turn up and um, I'm gathering. They weren't here at first light. So they're at another location before they come to me. But this location demands that you be here before the sun rises, get down in a position, because otherwise you're going to scare off all the water birds. Uh, but anyway, um, I've been having a bit of a walk around, took some more photographs of raptors and some other birds. And uh, yeah, I think it's time to go. By the time they come over here, I think that's what they're intended to do, was come to me second. It'll be nearly 10 o'clock and that's far too late. So, uh, yeah, it's already getting really hot. There's not much breeze around. So I'm going home. So I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I've had bringing it to you. It's been an awesome couple of days, as it always is when I come up here. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel and get more of this amazing stuff, click on my pretty little face to stand in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Hit the little bell. You'll get notification whenever I do anything else. And if you want to go and have a look at all the other mad and crazy things I've been doing in the past, click on my icon right here at the end of this video. Take it to my channel. I talk about photographing and filming in a forest environment and open forests. And when I go on adventures like this, I always take you with me. And when I buy cameras and camera equipment, I do reviews on them and give you my honest opinion on them. So go and have a browse, there'll be something there of interest to you, I am sure. Now just remember, if you don't do, you don't get. So get out there and start photographing and filming wildlife, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.